Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. What are we doing today, guys? We're uh, interviewing. No, no, no. Yeah, what, what are we doing? I wasn't aware. We are changing the world today. That is what we're doing. I'm joined with my friends who are also changing the world. The, the world. Uh, but yeah. If you guys have seen uh, Mark Rober and Mr. Beast's recent movement for Team Trees, they're trying to plant 20 million trees by 2020. And I wanted to join that. These guys wanted to join that. And today we will be using Python programming. Ah, what the heck? <laughs> uh, to generate some trees, do all sorts of cool stuff with programming to support the movement. And I'll tell you a little bit more about uh, Team Trees and show you how to donate and whatnot. Okay, if we were given this blank file and just how to implement this draw tree function in Python, it might not be straightforward how to do that. But let's take a step back and think about how you just doodle a tree. I am a not good artist, but even I can doodle a tree. So if I was to do that, it would look something like this. Nothing crazy, but right there, that's a simple tree. Uh, and still, if we were trying to implement this in Python, not straightforward how to do. But let's look at this picture again. Uh, I'm breaking this into kind of more programmatic components. Well, a tree in my eyes is just a rectangle and then three triangles stacked on top. So if we can draw a rectangle and three triangles, we can draw a tree. We're gonna use the turtle library of Python. And if you've never heard of turtle, I recommend you check out my video on it. It'll kind of give you a bunch of details so that you can more easily probably follow along to this video. But okay, so we have the turtle library imported. Let's now implement this draw tree function. Well, as I said before, draw tree will kind of consist of two different functions, probably draw trunk and draw leaves. The trunk function will really just need to uh, implement a rectangle. So let's draw, do that, draw trunk. And we'll have this take in a turtle, a uh, width, and a height. And then draw leaves will be drawing three different triangles. Probably will also take in a turtle at least. Um, and I'm just going to comment this real quick. Draw three triangles. Pass for now. Okay, so let's start off with draw trunk. Uh, how do we do that? Well, let's first off define a turtle that we can use to animate our tree. So we'll just call it turt. And then usually when we're doing these turtle things, we'll do turtle.done at the end. Okay, so now we want to test out the draw trunk method. Passing that turtle, we'll say our width is 100 and our height is 200. We're going to paste in how to draw the trunk. Uh, and I'll just animate that because that'll probably be easier visual. But as you see, we go forward 100, down 200, over 100, up 200. Okay, that's good, but a trunk, a tree trunk, is brown. So we also have to quickly turn our turtle brown, begin fill, and then at the end of it, end fill. Okay, let's see what happens now. Okay, cool, so we have a trunk of a tree. All right, next we are drawing the leaves. Well, the leaves implement triangles, so let's actually write a function that is uh, draw triangle. And that's gonna take in the turtle. I'm gonna just say it takes in the width and height as well. Um, that will probably mean that the draw leaves has to take in the width and height. Okay, okay, so draw a triangle. How do we do that? Well, we basically just need to turn a, tri uh, a turtle three times and like move forward a couple times. The code for that would look something like this. Well, we're basically just defining the different points of the triangle uh, and then just going to those different points in the right sequence. And we'll run that real quick. Draw triangle, tur 100, 200. We'll use the same variables. Cool, we have a rectangle and a triangle. And because we're reusing the same things here, let's uh, start abstracting out a couple things. Width equals 100, we'll say height equals 200. Okay, now to draw the leaves, we need to basically iterate three times. So I'm gonna also pass in the number of triangles we want. That's gonna be three by default. So for I and range triangles, basically we wanna iterate for each triangle. We're gonna to wanna to draw a triangle. Pass in the turtle, the width, the height. And then we need to set some sort of like height increase. And I'm gonna just arbit set, arbitrarily set that to height over two. This is how much we're raising the triangle each time. And then 
we'll set the turtle's y coordinate to whatever that y coordinate was initially. I guess this is y core plus the height increase. Okay, so what happens now if instead of doing this draw triangle, I do draw leaves? Come on, baby. Looks good. Looks good. It's good. So that just drew exactly what I was drawing at the start of the video. Uh, only issue here is this is all brown. And also the size was a little bit big. Uh, so we'll change this to width, comma height. Width, comma height. Let's make this, let's say 50. We'll cut it in half and 100. Uh, and then the only thing else we had to do was also we should set the color of the turtle. We'll do a copy just how we did it in brown and I'll pass in green. Uh, one thing to note is with turtle, if you set the color mode to 255, you can use all RGB values here. So that can be useful. You'll see that in my GitHub page that I do do that. Yay. Okay. That's a tree. We did a tree. Let's, let's go baby. Let's go. And I guess the final last detail is that we didn't want to do draw trunk and draw leaves. We actually wanted to sub it, sub in draw tree, turt, width and height, and just make sure that that's the same thing as it was before. And I'll need to update this real quick with height and update it in these functions. Okay, does draw tree work? Cool, cool, same as before. Okay, so that is a tree. Uh, one thing to note is that in my GitHub page, Keith Galley slash team trees, uh, if you go to generic, base tree is basically what we just did. I did do some cleaning up of that. Uh, so I'm gonna open that up in Sublime. Basically what I did to clean it up a little bit from what you saw was I implemented a class that was a, a tree class that had all those same functions, draw leaves, draw trunk, draw tree, but it allowed me to like pass around some parameters like trunk width and trunk height. I could use easily without having to pass them into the draw leaves and draw triangle function because it was a class variable. Uh, I also did stuff like pass in speed and some sort of scaling factor. The reason I moved it into a class was basically it was more organized to do it kind of keeps all the logic in one place. So if I ran this, you would see same thing, basically. I went ahead though and did some even cooler stuff with the building off that base tree. I created a line of trees. So let's open that file, um, line of trees. As you can see, it's on the screen. So fun, it gives a little bit of depth to the trees and I'm like, you're using a for loop to like write more of them. So it's kind of fun. Um, so this was pretty straightforward from just having that base tree. As you see in this file, this create forest function is all I defined. And basically that is just iterating 15 times, uh, randomly kind of scaling up our tree and putting a position that's kind of dependent on the width of the tree, uh, the screen, uh, setting a Y value up and down a little bit and uh, drawing trees 15 times ultimately with a different scale each time. And then I decided I want to get even fancier. So same within that repo, if you download the forest path um, code, I just wanted to create kind of a little piece of art using this tree that we've drawn. So that looks like this. So I used turtle to draw the triangles for the grass, to draw the triangle for this like dirt path, to draw the sky. And then I used that, um, basically the create forest or like that line of trees you just saw, create this like rows of trees. So we did that same line, but I did it in multiple places. And then I also kind of alternated the color, made a random color every time I generated a tree and got this cool, cool piece of art. And you know, that's not much more complex than that basic tree we did, uh, but it's super cool. Just like using our programming skills, we could build something like that. So all of this code is in my GitHub. Uh, same thing with the base tree. I abstracted out this nature class that kind of draws the background. And then it basically has this plant trees function that uh, put, finds a Y position, uh, plants trees all across that single Y position, 
and lo as long as it's not in the dirt path, uh, I guess these two together kind of do what I just mentioned. And then I overrode, I did subclassing. So I had that same base tree, but I overrode the draw tree function of it. And all I did differently in this random green tree was I passed in a random color. So if you're familiar with RGB colors, uh, red, green, blue, basically I generated a random color in that green spectrum, passed that in as my draw leaves function, and that gave me the ability to do all sorts of different colors in these trees in this uh, nature scene. Okay, now that we've gone through some cool uh, animations of trees, how do you actually get involved in the Team Trees movement? Uh, well, there's two ways to support it. You can either go to teamtrees.org or on any Team Trees YouTube video, so mine should be included, you can click the donate tab in the right. Basically one dollar, one US dollar equals one tree. And so as part of this video, I'm gonna donate a hundred trees. And I think it's just a cool way, like, uh, I think Mark Rober put it well in his video is that, you know, planting 20 million trees is not going to end climate change, but it's like a really positive step in the right direction. And it's a really cool way that the internet can kind of come together and do something positive. So I'm like a huge fan of uh, what the movement's all about. So I'm gonna donate 100 trees and it's pretty easy through this um, site. Also, don't feel like you have to donate if, you, if it's not manageable. Uh, one thing I wanna do, which will give everyone an opportunity to donate is if you're inspired after watching this video, if you make some sort of cool tree visualization, you know, kind of building off of something that maybe I covered in this video or something completely different, uh, and you either like tweet that at me or send it to me on Instagram, you know, maybe put a story up on Instagram, tag me in it, uh, and do that by the uh, January 1st, 2020, I will kind of selectively pick ones that I like and I will donate trees uh, on your behalf and also probably we'll have some cool like other prizes you can win too, like maybe like Amazon gift cards. So tweet cool visualizations of trees to me or Instagram them to me, uh, any sort of messaging platform, get them to me and I'll, I would love to share them with all of you guys and donate trees on behalf of people that do really cool things. All right, I think that's all we're gonna cover in this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the Team Trees movement. Peace out.